Hey everyone, I'm Ryan. You're watching 60 Cycle Hum, and this is the Chemist version two by Matthews Effects. Uh, just like previous versions and other pedals by Matthews Effects, you get that signature double row of controls. You get two banks of controls with the second bank being turned on and off by the second foot switch here. Uh, an advancement you get in the version two stuff is that you get multiple effects to select from. On the side of this pedal, there are two slider switches that allow you to choose between chorus, phaser, and octave, and you can assign them to either row of controls here. So you could have a phaser up here, you could have an octave down here, you could have your chorus up here, you could have another chorus down here with different settings. You can mix and match to your heart's content. It's pretty brilliant. I'm pretty stoked about it. And that collection of effects is just so smart to have in one pedal where you can select between two at a time because I never use phaser as like an always on effect when I'm playing in a band mix. I don't use octave as an always on. I don't use chorus as an always on. They're highlighting sounds that I use to bring, you know, a part to attention or to like get chorusy and lush in the background. They're momentary effects for me. And being able to have a pedal that has all three of them ready to go, switching easily is smart in my opinion, because it means I don't have to, you know, chew up three spots on my pedal board for those three effects. All right, so let's get into it. I flapped my gums enough. Here is my dry sound from my Titan by Cower. Uh, it's the KR1 and it's loaded with P90s. I've got it in the middle position because I think it's gonna sound pretty with the chorus. <laughs> And here is the chorus setting on the Chemist version two. The chorus, by the way, is called the Cobalt. And that's a lush chorus. So let's get into the controls and how they affect the chorus settings. First of all, you have your reaction control, which is your mix. Turn it all the way down for all the way dry. Why would you do that? Turn it all the way up and you can get some fun, wacky vibrato sound. And some more conservative vibrato sounds. And when you turn that down, it blends with your dry signal and you get a chorus effect. The catalyst controls the rate of the effect. And formula controls the depth of the effect. All right, let's switch to a different sound now. I'll turn on that extra bank and what do we have? You have the phaser. Similar controls to the chorus. The phaser, by the way, is called the Iridium because we're doing chemistry stuff here. You get mix all the way dry, all the way wet. You get your rate control here. And depth. I like to do a nice slow, deep phaser. Oh man, I 
don't even have it all turned all the way down. That's slow. I don't have all day to sit and wait for that to cycle. So now let's check out the octave setting. Set everything to noon here. <laughs> of course, the octave is called the lithium. So you get a mix control here between wet and dry. You don't need to hear dry. That's not what you came here for. Then this controls the mix of the high octave. all the way down you want if you want and you get your low octave control here of course you can mix them in some more conservative ways also you might have noticed that there's jacks on the side. You pluck in an expression pedal on this side and you get control over the formula of the second bank. So not the first bank, just the second bank. Let's switch over to that. That is, of course, your depth control. Let's switch in the chorus to see what that sounds like. I'll rock the expression pedal all the way back and then start moving it in. There's some fun sounds to be had there. Let's check out the octave setting now. So of course that controls the mix of your low octave with that expression control. Oh yeah, uh, there's a lot of great stuff to mess around with there. I think all the effects are dialed in really nicely. Really classic phaser, lush, just like all over you, like the 80s chorus. I don't even know what that means. Those are just the words that came out of my mouth. And then an octave that tracks really nicely, really nice polyphonic tracking from that octave. <laughs> With those added expression controls, there's also a jack on the side that allows you to control the bypass and the uh, the bank switch here externally if you're all into controllers and fancy rigs and stuff like that. So anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, dislike, leave me your nasty comments. Stay tuned for my uh, dirty little noodling bit I'm gonna do at the end here. And uh, stay grounded. Bye everybody. Mm -hmm.